Good Saturday morning, everybody. First full weekend of the year, and this is our first one for Saturday morning, the first Saturday of 2017. Welcome to Weather Overtime. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a look at what's going on with your forecast into the rest of the day today. Forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen. Plenty of sunshine today, northerly winds about 5 to 10 miles an hour, and temperatures for highs only in the 20s for today. That's going to be about it. And then temperatures for tonight back in the teens, maybe even a few single digits. It's just north of the Mid-South area, so looking at some fairly chilly conditions across much of the area. Got a lot to talk about for this morning, including the cold temperatures, which will be heading out of the area. More on that in just a little bit. Quick check of earthquakes around the Mid-South, looking up toward the New Madrid fault line into parts of Missouri, northwest Tennessee, and northeast Arkansas. No earthquakes to report within the last 24 hours or so. Likewise, looking good on delays early this morning. Clear skies, very cold, winds north, breezy at 14 miles an hour at Memphis International. Airport. Some delays showing up around Atlanta thanks to the weather. Also looking at low clouds and fog with delays of 45 minutes plus around San Francisco, but everything else at major and connecting airports appears to be moving along pretty well. Temperatures throughout the rest of the morning into early this afternoon, heading trying to head into the lower 20s. Winds will continue to be breezy, so we will see a very chilly day coming up and temperatures by later this afternoon back into the mid-20s or so. So numbers again rather breezy out there for the winds. That's going to take the wind chills down easily into the teens. So definitely want to bundle up, but open up the blinds and the drapes and get some free sunlight going on. Today's exclusive and exclusively exclusive tongue-in-cheek cough temp decks like you have to ask. Very cold temperatures today. Definitely want to aim for something hot, but remember your beverage, your coffee, uh, whatever you have to drink, your choice and your examination of the temperature before you drink it is always a good idea. Remember, if you burn your lips, that's your fault, not ours, so please, again, be very cautious. Ole Miss campus in Oxford. A lot of sunshine and looking from Ventress Hall in the foreground back to the Student Union, back that direction toward the rest of the trees. Very big amounts of sunshine out there on the St. Francis camp, but a lot of snow sticking around parts of the rest of the area. A lot of sunlight at Germantown at the City Hall camera on top of the water tower looking back toward East Memphis this morning around Poplar Pike, Germantown Road intersection on the right hand side of your screen along the railroad tracks. We are seeing again some snow sticking around, especially on the rooftops. And if you're golfing today at Windy Country Club, you may want to think about using a different colored ball other than white because as of right now, it's going to be kind of difficult to spot anything out there. Moon is a waxing gibbous, about two-thirds full, and going to be heading toward a full moon coming up within the course of about the next week or so. Sunrise this morning, 7.09. Also, sunrise tomorrow morning at 7.09. Got about nine hours, 56 minutes of daylight for today. So a decent amount of sunshine today. A few more clouds tomorrow. Eight hundredths of an inch of snow yesterday in the Mid-South, which means we are almost exactly where we should be for this time of the month and for the year, so definitely good news on that. For the Almanac for yesterday, way below normal. 33, our normal low. 19 is what we registered yesterday. 49 is our normal high temperature. Record high set in 2008 of 74. 27 was our high temperature yesterday, so well below normal for this time of the year. Rest of Saturday, heading through the rest of the day. Temperatures back into the mid-upper 20s. Winds will be out of the north, those moving white lines on the screen. That's what we see again where we uh, depict the winds on the screen north today, 5 to 10 miles an hour, maybe gusting to 15 at times, but that's as good as it gets on the temperatures out there. Throughout the rest of the forecast, without any clouds to hold the heat in, temperatures will be plummeting tonight, back in the teens and lower 20s by News Channel 3 at 10, and then getting into the rest of the forecast through tomorrow morning, temperatures in the teens and lower 20s, but some more clouds drifting on through from time to time, and looking at numbers again back in the 20s and 30s for high temperatures tomorrow, so a little bit warmer, and then by News Channel 3 at 10 Sunday night, wrapping up the weekend, mid to upper 20s. Rest of the forecast today, plenty of sunshine, but cold. Temperatures back in the mid to upper 20s, mid 30s as we go into Sunday, still not looking at any rainfall, and dry with a few more clouds on Monday. Temperatures back in the mid 40s. Rest of the week, very mild. Temperatures making their way back into the lower to mid 60s, even some upper 60s by Thursday, with plenty of rain mixed with a little bit of light showers and maybe some thunderstorms from time to time as we head toward Friday. Temperatures quite pleasant but still a lot of possibilities of rain chances over the next several days so if you have any outdoor plans you may be ducking and diving more than a few raindrops out there 
in the course of the very near future. Weather where the troops are after the new year, a lot of people still stationed overseas and looking at numbers back in the 50s and 60s with clouds for the most part in various points of Iraq. Back into the Persian Gulf, temperatures in the mid to upper 50s to around the lower 60s or so into around the Kuwaiti area of the International Airport and then looking around the area of Doha and Qatar and back into around Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Temperatures are going to be back into around the mid to upper 60s with plenty of clear skies as the sun has just set uh, into that portion of the world. Back toward Afghanistan, temperatures again a little bit on the chillier side, 20s around Faizabad and back toward Kabul at the airport. Numbers back to around 40 degrees around Herat and mid to upper 30s around Kandahar. So nothing showing up in the way of rain or snow in the high country elevations there. So pretty quiet in that part of the world. Heading back towards South Korea, the demilitarized zone and southward. We've got again temperatures mainly in the 30s, although we do have again some scattered showers being seen down toward around Pusan and mostly cloudy skies a little bit milder there temperatures back in the mid to upper 40s a big salute to everybody working and with the United States military overseas. Deborah J54, thank you very much for this very beautiful sunrise shot from a nice warm kitchen. Very good uh, way to take sunrise pictures for this morning. Thanks to R Privet22, beautiful shot from Henderson, Tennessee of the snowfall from yesterday. And thanks Susie F Homemaker around Randolph area in Tipton County. Decent amount of snowfall just north of the metro area yesterday. And if you got anything you'd like to share with us, please tweet them to me at Aonic underscore at WRAG3. Four throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 and download our app. It's available at the App Store, whatever platform you have, and that's available at whatever App Store. Search WREG Weather and we'll get you straightened on weather where it comes to weather online or on air. I'll have your forecast throughout the course of the rest of the afternoon and this evening and into tonight and throughout the rest of Sunday. Your complete forecast with my, uh, myself, yours truly, on News Channel 3. Thanks for joining me for today's update of News Channel 3's video weather blog, Weather Overtime, and stay tuned for a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the weekend and into next week.